Hey guys, it's me Dory. Um, it's early in the morning, so if I sound kind of bleh, that's why. Um, but we're gonna move along pretty quickly here. I was able to obtain the new, that light's kind of bright, uh, the new Fusion Strike ETB. Um, I actually got this the day after release because for some strange reason, I guess I was just, um, I went in on my day off and I was in the back most of the time and I completely just forgot <laughs> Fusion Strike was coming out. I didn't have a booster box lined up this time. Um, I may wait to pick that up either later or hope to get it for Christmas. Um, so I completely forgot about it and then when I went in the next day, I was like, oh yeah, we got these in. So we got these, um, we actually got these, but we didn't get both. I guess Eevee is the other one for the three pack. Um, I do love this Dragonite coin though. Um, so I may wait to do a video on this to see if we um, get the Eevee one anytime soon. Um, but I, I love this, Ooh, I love this uh, promo card with the Espeon. But for now, we're just gonna um, focus on this. And we also got just like the regular like single packs, we didn't get anything else, so I don't know anything about boxes with promos or anything like that. I tried to look it up, but <clears throat> it seems to be a strange thing to look up. It's it's hard to find information on, so I must not be looking in the right place. I found everything I wanted about celebrations though, but still no Dragapult box. A little a little devastated about that. Um so I already got a little whole pulp poked here like usual. Um I glanced at the set list a little bit because um, I didn't want to like go running out to the store to grab a booster box that I couldn't really uh, throw money down on right now because uh, Christmas is coming up or at least responsibly I can't throw money down on um, but I actually saw quite a few things that I was uh, kind of looking forward to um, so we've got the player's guide here and it's gonna have like uh, the set list here. Um, there's a couple full art trainer cards that <clears throat> I'm kind of looking forward to. And uh, I really like how they did like this pink, bluish, uh, purple design. Um, what does the inside look like? It looks like it's just got the pack designs on the uh, ETV cover. <clears throat> um, well, actually. I'm gonna try to grab those without pulling this thing out, but I can't really do that. Okay, so we got eight packs here. Um, and then your usual, there's our pack sleeves. Um, those are really nice. And then just your other basic stuff, your little dye. Oh, I really like that clear dye though. The blue with the pink. Um, your trading card rules, your energy uh, code card which I still need to figure out what in the world to do with these well I guess so this is this is something that I saw pop up on my feed on my phone something about I guess Pokemon trading card game live is getting I think pushed back um, to next year which I didn't even know this was gonna be a thing but that's kind of cool I guess um, but yeah, I have more code cards than I have any clue what to do with, so uh, we'll just leave those aside for now. So I saw people posting them on the Reddit. I know I've mentioned it before, and I was like, oh, I'll find something to do with them, and then I just, I never did. Uh, but here's our packs here, and here looks to be the pack covers. Which I really love that Mew one. But yeah, we'll... Uh, Oh, where'd the other pack go? Where did the other pack go? What in the world? Did I just lose one of the packs? I'm pretty sure I just counted out eight packs. Um, I'm not really sure what happened. Did I get gypped on a pack or do they only come with seven? 
I swear I just counted eight out. Okay, well, I'm not sure if they only come with seven and I just didn't realize that or if I don't know how to count. Guess we'll just figure that out later. <laughs> um, if for some reason I end up finding it, I guess I'll post it in another video, but uh, not really sure what happened there. Well, I hope they only come with seven, or I'm going to be kind of upset. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll uh, we'll just go ahead and get started here. Try not to freak out too much. I, I could just be overthinking it, but I, I swear the regular ETVs come with eight, and then, like, the special ones, like Shining Fates and something, come with ten, which is why they're ten more dollars. But I don't know. Maybe we'll just get something really good out of them, so... Um, we'll go ahead and open the full tonned one here. Actually, doesn't it usually say on the pack how many? Yeah, it definitely says eight on here. It definitely says eight, and I only got seven. Well... I would have been more devastated had I paid MSRP for this, but I didn't because I used my discount. But yeah, there's only seven packs. That kind of sucks. <sighs> okay, well, maybe maybe in due time I'll get another one or something. Who knows? But got gypped on that one, so let's hope that, well, for one, they weren't resealed or something. Maybe it was just a manufacturing error. And two, that maybe we'll just get something really, really good to make up for it. But I mean, everything's going to be new regardless, so. Ooh, I like that Lapras card. Well, Mayoki Saito, their art's always really good. regular Corviknight there. Man, I'm kind of sad about that now. <laughs> we had, um, I think six ETBs, and I just kind of grabbed the first one that seemed interesting. I don't know. But hopefully the other ones aren't like that, because that'll be kind of, that'll kind of suck. Oops. Well, throw that one apart. Oh well, things happen. And there's the Snorlax. Ooh, the Yukamori Snom card. That's kinda cool. Um Yukamori, as far as I'm aware, is the one who does all the um the claim the claymation uh card designs. <clears throat> And here we've got a Pikachu V. That's not too bad of a start. At least something. I don't think a lot of my ETVs recently have been big, huge hits. So, good to see at least something there. Especially with one less pack. I still can't believe that. I thought I was, like, losing my mind. Um, uh, we'll go ahead and do the Gengar ones next. I got three of those here. Save the best for last. The Mew, which I know Gengar is all, always a top favorite uh, Pokemon. One, two, three, four. No, hoping to at least get some big hits in here to make up for this. Meloetta. Um, like I said, I kind of just glanced over the list, so I don't really know if I have like a particular chase card. I know everybody got really excited for that uh, alternate art Celebi. I think it was originally a promo in Japanese. <clears throat> that would be kind of cool. And then um, 
the Chandelier uh, VMAX looks pretty cool. Make sure I know how to count now, because apparently I didn't count the packs right here. My stomach's rumbling. I hope that doesn't pop up on here. I woke up pretty quickly when I got up this morning. Oh, there's a hollow swamp right there. I woke up and I had a I had a cut on my toe. And usually I lie in bed for a little bit and just like read on my phone, but I just like threw myself out of bed because I was like, uh, what happened? So then I was like, oh yeah, I have a video to film. So I just came straight downstairs. Started filming. Let's get something good here. Although, I think I read somewhere that this is like the biggest set, um, like ever, at least in um, the North American version. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be a lot of variety in, I would at least think the common cards, but But I guess that also means there's a lot of secret cards and alternate cards and things like that. Which, I mean, bigger sets and smaller sets kind of have their perks. Smaller sets, you would think it'd be easier to get everything you'd want. But then after a while, when you keep going after, like, the chase cards, like, um, Shining Fates and stuff, you get, like, 8 billion of the same common cards. So that gets kind of tiring. Oh, there's Ceylon Chili and Crest. That's uh, one of the full art trainers I'm looking forward to getting, hopefully. Um, but with the bigger sets, I mean, unless you get, like, a booster box and, and a bunch of other stuff, like, it'll take a while to get all the commons and things like that. But at least, like, the rarer cards are more kind of, like, s spread out per common card. Huntail. No hollow. All right, this is my last pack. Just still looking in here, making sure I didn't overlook something, and I definitely didn't. That's kind of bummy. Oh well. Like I said, I didn't pay MSRP for this, so it's not too big of a deal, but still a little disappointing. Maybe this will have some uh, some gold in here. Speaking of gold, still haven't gotten the gold Mew from Celebrations yet. It's the only one from the regular set that I still need. Let's see. Like I said, it still looks like most of these cards are new. Haven't gotten any repeats here. Anything good? Anything good? Nope. Well, I picked the wrong pack. Well... That's all I got. <laughs> After getting gypped on packs. So that's kind of a, that's a little bit of a bummer, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'll pick up another ETB. I usually don't get more than one um, unless they have different designs, like Evolving Skies had all the evolutions, so they had two different ETBs. Um, I didn't get both for ba Battle Styles because I was over Battle Styles. Um, but I think, I think this set only has one, which is just the Mew. But I may pick up another one, because, like, holy crap, this was bad. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to the rest of this. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll just open this one now, which I now realized has... You know what? We'll just go ahead and open this now. Maybe I'll get something else out of it, but, uh, yeah, I didn't notice this was like this, so, I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not with it here. We're just gonna go ahead and open this one along with the ETB, so hopefully maybe I can get something else with it. Um, I wasn't planning on doing this now, but that was, uh, 
which is a little bit disappointing. But <coughs> we'll try to make it up here. Um, I love this SBM promo. I've noticed with all the previous sets they've been coming out with all the uh, um, Evolutions, like there was a <clears throat> Vaporeon, I think a Jolteon. Did we get a Flareon? I don't know. It's been a while. Um, and there's usually like a different Eevee with each, with each one, which this one's supposed to have an Eevee with it, but we didn't actually end up getting that one. So, um, and then the Dragonite coin, which I definitely appreciated. Um, that's kind of cool. All right. So I guess we'll just move along with these three extra packs here and, uh, let's at least hope for something good out of, uh, out of these. I can't remember how many we had. Um, maybe about seven or eight of these Espeon packs at work. All right. I think I've seen that schoolboy one in like every single one that I've opened. Oh, there we go. Dodrio V. That's pretty cool. I actually like that one. All right. So we're, we're, we're getting something here. It's already kind of tied with the ETB because I got a, the Pikachu V in that one and that was pretty much it. <laughs> All right. I mean, at least, I mean, get, I'll take a, I'll take a V Max. I'll take an alternate art. I'll take a, or I'll take a, I'll take a full art. I'll take anything, just <laughs> something. Frizion. That blissy. All right. Let's go for some last pack magic here. Man, I have just been butchering opening these. Well, hopefully, maybe I'll manage to get a booster box or something for Christmas. Wink, wink. All right. Gonna wish luck on this one. <gasps> okay. Um, not one of the ones I wanted the most, but. That was a great way to end off this video. <laughs> after that, uh, after that ETB madness, that was, I'm very grateful, very grateful for Dancer Full Art Rainbow. Oops, these packs got a little bent up here. Their sleeves. Okay, well, that ended up kind of working out. Um, that was some good last pack magic here. I'm trying to fit these all in here. Here. Okay, well, that ended up uh, definitely picking up the slack for the ETB there. Um, so I guess if I manage to get the EV one, I'll probably do that video maybe with, um, if I can find some Bl uh, single blisters with promos somewhere. Maybe I'll do a collection of those kind of together because I'd like to look out for uh, more of these. I don't know why this video looks so dark. Maybe it's just because my my phone brightness is turned down. But yeah, um, a bit disappointing of an ETB. Unfortunate that I only ended up getting um, seven, but uh, 
doing a spur of the moment grabbing the Espeon definitely made up for it so uh, I'm pretty excited to uh, pick up more of these and see what the rest of the set has to offer, offer here um, yeah so we'll just go ahead and uh, end it here oh actually I do really like the um, the symbol they did for this set um, it looks like a, just a mew tail with I couldn't tell you, but it's a Mew tail. Uh, I really enjoy that. So, yeah, we'll just leave it off here, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.